Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. Now, I know I said in my previous video I was going to film the same intro three times, but you know that's not the case. But anyway, I got in three boxes of wax from three different vendors. I shared my first one yesterday. Today I am sharing my next one, which if you know by the seal, you know it's from one of my favorite vendors, Destination Wax. Now, I am filming all of these videos unboxing style. So, I'm going to open this up. And the first thing I see is some recycled air, which I always love. And then we have some tissue paper. Let me just rip this off. Now, ugh, I ordered 40 breakaway bars, which from um, Rebecca are essentially like de-shelled um, clamshells. And these are my favorite shape from her. If you haven't seen my video on like how to order from Destination Wax, definitely check it out. But then, whoo, I also have a little sample bag. And it says, thank you, Drew, and thank you for your support, Rebecca. And she says that because there was someone as a member of Destination Wax family who got into a car accident and uh, yeah, we're just sending some well wishes to you. You know who you are. But anyway, inside this bag were some samples and she sent me six samples. They're always in these little shapes. So the first one we have is lemon chiffon cake. And I do say this in every video, Destination Wax is like the luxury of wax vendors. Her shapes, her fragrances, her labels, the presentation, everything is just so luxe. And lemon chiffon cake says, lemon chiffon cake drizzled with lemon brown sugar vanilla icing. This smells like my favorite candle lemon bakery. And it was lemon pound cake from Gold Canyon Candle, which is no longer in business. Oh my gosh, this smells exactly like it. You get that lemon bakery, but you get the sweet glaze. Oh, I don't really get a lot of brown sugar, but mixed with that lemon and that bakery, lemon chiffon cake, 100% need a loaf in that. The next one we have is Cucumber Melon, and this says Cucumber, Honeydew, Cantaloupe, and Watermelon. Sweet, fresh, and realistic. Different from BBW. Interesting. So it's not a Bath and Body Works Cucumber Melon. It most certainly is not. This, oh, wow. This smells exactly like it's a really hot summer day and you get yourself like a cucumber seltzer. Like it's so fresh. And I almost feel like the honeydew, the cantaloupe, and the watermelon help enhance the fragrance of the cucumber. They're not dominant. It's definitely like a crisp cucumber. Wow, is that good. Rebecca kills me every time. Next we have Oud Wood. And this is sweet, warm, and woodsy, sandalwood, agar wood, which is oud, cedar, frankincense, and iris, inspired by Lush's oud heart. I didn't even, that must be a, a new scent from Lush. Okay, this definitely smells like wood. It kind of has that Lush smell, like that, like, bath bomb-y smell. It's like a, it is like a powdery, like, dark woody scent. It's not a favorite. I do love oud wood, but some Lush dupes are just not for me. Then we have a blueberry pumpkin patch. This is ripe blueberries and pumpkin with a bit of bakery spice, BBW type. Now I will also point out these samples are literally perfect. One melt. They're all different shapes, but you pop one in the warmer and they last the whole entire day. And this smells just like blueberry pumpkin patch just like the Bath and Body Works candle. And it's so interesting, because you never would think to mix blueberry and pumpkin together, like smelling them. And it almost makes me wonder what like a blueberry pumpkin crumble would taste like. Mm. If I bake it, I would tell ya, but I don't. Next we have Port Royal, 
And this is smoky red birch, sweet tobacco, grapefruit, lemon, cinnamon, and rum. Interesting. I don't like that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't know if it's the red birch or the tobacco. Typically, I like like boozy scents, so I don't think it's the rum. Whoa, that's like, that's like really strong tobacco. And then the last sample I got is in mint shortbread, and this is buttery minty shortbread cookies. I just saw Jim, her husband, post in the Facebook group that he was pouring a loaf in mint shortbread. Why do these samples do this to me? This is so good. Oh my gosh. It's just the right amount of mint. And that buttery shortbread cookie. But the mint isn't candy cane mint. This is like pure fresh mint leaf that you like crumbled or like mixed enhanced the essence of it into your shortbread. Okay. So, I already know, before I go to bed tonight, this is going in my bedside table warmer, and if I love it, it's going right into a loaf in the December order. Alright, without further ado, this is going to be rather quick, hopefully, you know how I am. I have 40 breakaway bars to talk about, so let's get into it. It's going to be the luck of the draw, and I'm just going to grab one, and this is it. The first one we have is baked apples. Baked apples drizzled with brown sugar, butter, vanilla, and warm spices. Sweeter than baked cinnamon apples. I love a good apple cinnamon scent. Lori Brown, if you're watching this, do you want some apple cinnamon? <laughs> it's a running joke because she has, like, burnt herself out on apple cinnamon scents. Oh, but this is good. And I, I have to laugh. The first thing, and you know I'm super realistic when I smell my wax. This smells just like the apple cinnamon, like, side um, that you get at Bob, well, not Bob Evans, at Cracker Barrel. I don't know why. That's just the first thing that came to mind is, like, those apple cinnamon apples. Apple cinnamon. Cinnamon apples that you get as a side dish on at Home Depot. Cracker Barrel, not Home Depot. Fresh balsam. And this is balsam fir and eucalyptus, similar to BBW. I wanted to get this because I love our fresh balsam candle. And this smells just like it. I, I'm not going to go too much into it because it smells exactly like that. A fresh, crisp balsam tree with the crispness of the air. Cranberry fig. Tart cranberries, fresh fig leaves, and a touch of clove. I love fig scents, so I thought I would absolutely love this. And I do. That fig is so sweet, green, and earthy. I definitely do not smell clove. So if you are, like, not a super spicy clove fan, you would still really like this if you like cranberry fig. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Oh, yeah, the fig is just so sweet. And I, I don't know, when you mix something sweet like fig with tartness of cranberry, they balance each other out. Perfection. It's like my new thing. Perfection. Cranberry citrus. A bright citrus scent spiked with tangy cranberries. Yum. Oh, yeah, yum. Huh, this is good. I'm definitely picking up more on cranberry. The citrus is like a very warm citrus. Does it say warm on here? No, it says bright citrus. To me, it smells very warm, like a, like a mulled citrus, like on the stove. Like if you're taking like, I don't want to say water because that's plain, but if you take like water, cut up pieces of fruit and like simmered it on the stove all day, I feel like that's what that smells like with cranberries. Ginger Cream Cafe. I ordered this mainly because I got samples of it to test in my last haul, and I wanted to smell like what it smelled like on its own. And it says, a light roast coffee flavored with sweet cream and gingerbread spices. Okay, for some reason I thought this was like a ginger ale cream scent, so I'm interested in this gingerbread coffee. Oh, this is nice. I don't know if this is local, 
But Coffee Tree Roasters, is that like a local Pittsburgh thing or do they have like, is it like a chain, just a smaller chain? But anyway, Coffee Tree Roasters in Pittsburgh, when I go there, I feel like this is what it smells like. Every coffee shop smells different. And like, even though Starbucks is so huge, like, they all smell the same. Dunkin' Donuts all smell the same. Your independent coffee shops all have a distinct smell to them. This smells like Coffee Tree Roasters. I think that gingerbread, and I think the reason why is they have so many fresh baked goods like out on their counter. So mixed with the coffee, perfection. Fresh Tide, and this one says, close freshly laundered with Tide detergent. I wanted this because sometimes after melting my bakery scents, my rich heavy scents, and I've talked about this before on the channel, if you find that sometimes you can't smell your wax that you know is throwing, mix something totally different, totally out of your elephant. I can literally smell it right here. Oh my god. Yeah, it smells like warm laundry. Like when you're going into the laundry room, but the dryer's on, and you know how warm laundry smells different than fresh laundered, laundered laundry or laundry going? Every laundry step has a different smell. And it's because the wool's like building up in the warm dryer. That's what this smells like. But anyway, tangent. Um, when you melt like a lot of bakery and you want something different, or you want to reset your nose, melt something totally out of your element to refresh and reset your nose. Ghostest. And this one is Parma Violets and Lightly Toasted Marshmallow. Ooh, okay. This, to me, really doesn't smell super violet-y, which is what I was nervous about because I do not like violet and wax. But people said it didn't really smell like it. This sounds really, like, I don't want to say cliche or, like, oh, really? But it smells like a purple marshmallow. Like, if you're, like, picturing a marshmallow that's purple, you know it's flavored with something, but you're not really sure what it is. Maybe it's violet, because that's what it smells like. Wow, I forgot how much... Okay, I'm putting this out here in the universe. December. I'm only buying foil pans. I, I have to go through this drawer right here. All breakaway bars. And I did create an Excel spreadsheet with the pour dates and the scent of all my vendors. It took forever. I have like 150 bars. Like, I need to calm down. Black vanilla. Dark Madagascar vanilla enriched with tonka and patchouli. Okay, this, <laughs> this smells like an old man wearing a patchouli scent. Like a patchouli cologne. You know how like, an old man has like that distinct smell? Like, lived in leather, like, lived in, like, I, I, I don't know how else to describe it, but you know how, like, when you smell an older person who has really heavy cologne on, they have that distinct smell? I feel like that's what this smells like. Next, we have Vanilla Balsam, and this is Balsam Fir and Cedar Softened by Mellow Vanilla BBW Type. One of my favorite balsam candles from Bath & Body Works. And this smells just like it. It's exactly it. It's that sweet vanilla. Like, I feel like Vanilla Balsam is a super sweet vanilla scent. Mixed with that Christmas tree, it's really good. Vanilla Balsam never disappoints. And then I have Winter, also the dupe for Bath & Body Works. It says, a fresh scent of fir needles, oak moss, allspice, clove, and a hint of citrus. This is such an iconic scent from Bath & Body Works. Harry Slacken helped create it for them. And this smells just like it. It's a very cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, citrus, cri crisp winter air scent. I love that scent. I always have to burn one every holiday. Just one. I don't want to get too crazy. So maybe that'll be my fix this year. And then I have winter linen. And this just really intrigued me. This is a crisp laundry scent. Fresh linen, bergamot, Egyptian jasmine, white flowers, sandalwood, musk, and cashmere. So it's so funny that it has the word Egyptian in it because to me, if you remember Yankee Candle did a World Journeys collection 
and they had Egyptian cotton. You could only find them at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. They're like long gone now. But anytime I found that Egyptian cotton candle, no matter what size it was, I always picked one up because I knew I never wanted to be without it. Newsflash, I don't have any more. But this smells just like the Yankee Candle Egyptian cotton candle. Oh my, God, my cats are like driving me crazy today. Winter's Eve, and this one is a winter evening curled up by a crackling fireplace. Balsam, cedar, and wood smoke. Now this will be interesting because the wood smoke scent, you remember, an autumn campfire. Not a fan. Nope. Nope, it's that wood smoke scent. That wood smoke is... It's definitely toned down a lot from the plain wood smoke, but it has that firewood scent. Nope, sorry, can't do that one. Blue spruce. Colorado blue spruce and cedar wood. This one really also was super intriguing to me, mainly because... I'm still new into blue spruce. My cats are driving me crazy. Um, hmm. I don't know. Like, to me, blue spruce... I mean, it literally just says blue spruce. It, it reminds me of those, like, plastic Christmas trees, and then you hang the scented icicles on them. That's kind of what this smells like, to make it smell like a fake Christmas tree. It's good. Uh, Christmas tree scents to me are so hard to d describe. That's like my one weakness. Like, I, I can't describe Christmas tree scents. Brandied pear. Sweet baked pears flambéed with a rich cider brandy. And I thought this would be amazing on a cool winter night. Oh, it is. Okay, this is nothing like I expected it to be. For some reason, I thought of it as like a honey pear cider. I'm not really sure why, but it has brandy in it. And it definitely has a brandy in it. Oh, that's so nice. I love boozy scents, so I knew I would love this. Oh my god, it's so good. Shantae, enough. She's crazy. It does. I love the boozy note in there from the brandy. People either love boozy or they don't love it. Candy Cane Extra. I was so excited to order this one. I was actually just going to go right through it in a loaf. Fresh peppermint and spearmint, sweet strawberries and vanilla. Extra minty. Okay, this is not what I expected it to be. For some reason, I expected it to be Twisted Peppermint, but it's not. It is, like, way peppermint. It's definitely, like it says, extra peppermint and spearmint. Strawberry and vanilla, I don't really pick up in there. I definitely pick up, like, really strong peppermint and spearmint. Okay. Not that it's bad. I was just expecting it to be something else. Honey Pear Cider. Spiced Pear Cider sweetened with honey. Now see, I knew I ordered Honey Pear Cider. This is what I predict smelling on a winter night. It's that really, like, Harry and David pear with the gold foil when you peel the foil off. That pear, you could bake it in the oven for like an hour and it's so soft. Put some honey on that. That's dessert, baby. That's like straight up dessert. I got him halfway through my box. I'm so excited. Next, I have a lavender tassy, and this is a clean lavender, similar to Tasmanian lavender essential oil. I was really excited about this one, mainly because, hmm, I thought it would smell like the L'Occitane lavender. It does not. It's a sweeter lavender. For some reason, when I think lavender tassy, I guess Tassie short for Tasmanian, I think of it as like a candy. And I kind of can get that vibe from this. It is fresh, but it's not super, super herbal to my nose. It's more sweet. And then we have Lavender Rosemary. Now, I remember this scent is super popular from Destination Wax. And this is a sweet blend of lavender, sage, and rosemary. smells like a lush scent. 
It's a lush scent I like. It's not sleepy, though. It's, it's good. The rosemary is definitely in there. I almost want to say it's more dominant than the lavender, which is not a bad thing. Oh, yeah. That's good. I like it. it. The lavender is definitely more in the background, where the rosemary is definitely in the forefront. Pomegranate apple cider. I did get this as a sample in, I think, my first order. Popped it in. Loved it. This is spiced pomegranate apple cider with extra apples. Tart and warm at the same time. I loved this scent. And I still do. Yep. It's like apple cider with a kick of tartness in it, which is the pomegranate. Perfect for this time of year when you're not really ready for Christmas. You still want those warm fall scents, but you do want a little bit of holiday. The pomegranate adds that. Next we have Sugared Spruce, and this is a sweet and fresh blend of blue spruce, sweet berries, balsam cedar, and sugared vanilla. So again, we have, you know, all the Christmas trees. This is the one I love. And the reason why, it's because, and I remember, Deb, who used to make videos on YouTube, said sugared spruce to her smells like bubble gum. Not like true bubble gum or cotton candy, but it has such a sweetness to the Christmas tree or to the spruce tree itself that it comes across sweet. And that's what this smells like. If you like sweet scents and you're nervous about trees, sugared spruce is it. Lemon chiffon cake. I got a sample of it and I also got it as a breakaway bar. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Well, now I definitely have more opportunities to melt it and see if I need it in a foil pan. Which, remember, I'm only getting foil pans next month. Pink peppermint. And this is a pink sugar blender, peppermint, and vanilla. If this smells anything like I hope it will, it's exactly. The first time I ever tried pink peppermint was, ready for a throwback vendor, Tiffany Candles. Remember her? And I had a jar of hearts from her in pink peppermint and it was an amazing blend for nighttime and when I saw pink peppermint I'm like pink sugar peppermint and vanilla that's what Tiffany candles was and it is pink sugar takes that peppermint sweetens it up and makes it so calming whoever would think peppermint could be calming well I guess it could be that's a scent I feel like can be energizing and calming at the same time honey gingerbread cakes Lightly spiced, buttery gingerbread laced with honey. I feel like I'm really going to like this one. I do. Ugh. That gingerbread in here is so moist. It's like a gingerbread cake. Honey, mmm. Honey's hard to detect. I need to just get like a plain honey wax. But... The honey with the gingerbread, it like enhances it and makes it super sweet. That's amazing. Mistletoe. Fir, spruce, and Siberian pine sweetened with a bit of berries and green apple. Great blended with cotton candy. That's interesting. I was just talking about that. This has that same scent as Zape does in the mistletoe. I'm writing off that I don't like mistletoe. I don't know if it's... Okay. I didn't want to say it in my last video because it's like kind of gross, but whatever. It smells like a urinal cake. That's what I think it smells like. And now I know that that's the mistletoe scent. I'm not a fan of mistletoe and wax. Vanilla Noel. Crushed vanilla beans, fluffy white marshmallows, sugar cookies, and vanilla buttercream. Smells just like Vanilla Bean Noel. Classic. And I do read that her vanilla scents need a little bit longer cure time, so put that away and enjoy that up. Vanilla Snowflake. Creamy vanilla and warm woods sweetened with a dash of coconut. I do like Vanilla Snowflake from Bath & Body Works. I never really buy it just because it's just like, eh, it's always there. So I'm excited to melt it because I've actually really never had an experience with it. It's definitely very, very vanilla, but it's a very milky vanilla. So almost like you took like a big glass of milk and added some pure vanilla extract in it, mixed it up. Coconut, it does say like a dash of coconut, maybe like coconut milk. Maybe coconut milk mixed with a little bit of vanilla. 
Another sample that I ordered, or that I got, that I had to order in a big, in a bar, watermelon mint. Fresh watermelon and cooling mint. When I melted this, you guys, it was heaven. It's true watermelon. And it's almost like the mint, it's again, it's not like peppermint, it's like crushed mint leaf. Mixed with that watermelon. Oh, is that good. It is like... Mm, it is so fresh. Goblin's Bride. Rose Petal Jam and Tea and Cakes. I've never tried Tea and Cakes on its own, but I love Rose Jam. This smells like a baked Rose Jam. Like, like a bakery version of Rose Jam. You can definitely smell Rose Jam, 100%. It's like a bubblegummy, like, lemon sweet rose scent. If you don't like roses, I feel like you would still like rose jam. I feel like everybody likes rose jam. And you're going to be commenting, I don't like rose jam. I don't like rose jam. Okay. I thought, I thought you did. Yeah. It's like a baked rose scent. It's really good. So I'm stacking them next to me. I have one row left. So let's knock these out. Next we have... Candy Cane Frost. Sweet, creamy, vanilla, mint candies. Maybe this is like what I was thinking Candy Cane Extra would be. Not exactly either. Okay, so her candy cane's interesting. It's almost like they're so minty. And it's also like in the bag, so hopefully when I pop them in my warmers, it like... I don't want to say amplifies it, because it probably will, but maybe it'll like mellow it out or maybe I'll have to blend it this is definitely though like candy cane extra blended with a ton of vanilla which I'm not mad about spiked eggnog I forget who it was but somebody in the Facebook group and I'll, I'll link all that down below said this is the best eggnog scent they've ever smelled in their life and this is vanilla eggnog spiked with rum, clove, cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg topped with whipped cream. And I also talked about, I wanted to try some more eggnog scents. This is good. I don't like to drink eggnog. I do like the smell of it and I like the idea of it. It's just too thick. It's, it shouldn't be a drink in my opinion. It's too thick. Oh yeah. This is so... It's boozy. But it's like, I, I don't know how to describe eggnog necessarily, but it's like a creamy, custardy type of scent. I'm just trying to move this stack along. Snowy Pine, and this one is Fir Balsam, Cypress, and Fresh Apple. This isn't bad. I'm definitely picking up on the balsam. The apple... It's kind of like, it's kind of like a fresh apple that's not super strong. Like, I almost feel like the apple in there is kind of in the, like a very light background scent. Scottish Hearth, I did already have this one, um, but I wasn't sure if I wanted a whole loaf in it, because it's something that I feel like I would want, but maybe like once or twice, not a bunch of times. <laughs> Old World Hearth Fire of fresh applewood boughs, fresh applewood boughs tossed onto burning logs of white birch. And I do really like this scent. It's like a real campfire scent. To me, or maybe like what I picture a campfire to smell like, like wood smoke is what a, a fire actually smells like. But this is what like in the movies I predict I like a fire to smell. It's very fresh. That, that birch really brings out the crispness of the fire. Rocky Mountain Pine, Balsam Fir, Colorado White Fir, Blue Spruce, Red Cedar, and Berries. Oh boy. I like this. So see, it doesn't have that mistletoe note in it. Don't like that. Yeah, this is like, this is like really tree. Yeah, I mean, if you want quintessential Christmas tree, like a blend of all the trees, Rocky Mountain Christmas. 
pumpkin gingerbread, spicy pumpkin gingerbread. So this will be interesting. I'm not really sure how I feel about spicy. I don't think it's super spicy. I mean, it's definitely spiced. That's yummy. The gingerbread, again, is the same gingerbread that honey gingerbread cakes where it's like a moist cakey. But I feel like you're folding in like canned pumpkin. Cinnamon bayberry. Cinnamon bayberry leaves, pine and sandalwood. Not really sure, bayberry. As soon as I think of bayberry, I think of those like tall green um, taper candles that you burn on Christmas. Yeah, it's like, it's definitely like a cinnamony scent, but like a cinnamon wreath almost is what I'm getting. Like those like, those cinnamon wreaths that you can like drip oil on to keep the scent going. Coffee peppermint mocha. Dark coffee flavored with a perfect balance of fresh peppermint and chocolate. This is totally different than all the rest. Fresh coffee. That's the first thing I pick up on. Fresh coffee. And the peppermint, it's not like... It's like you took a, a candy cane and you stuck it in your hot coffee for a while and we're stirring it up. Not like Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts where one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pumps of peppermint syrup. It's like real peppermint mixed with coffee. That's good. I definitely think it's only bar worthy though just because I feel like melting it in so much, like I feel like it's good at like that time of year. I wouldn't want it any other time of year but Christmas. Cranberry balsam. Fresh balsam, no, fir balsam, spiced cranberries, apples, oranges, and grapefruit. I like this. I like this a lot. The Christmas tree is very mellow. It's definitely more grapefruit. <sighs> grapefruit and apple and cranberry. Like, I feel like because of the grapefruit added in here, it makes everything like balsam toned down way, way a lot, which I love. Christmas in Jamaica. Balsam fir, orange, grapefruit, pineapple, and cranberry. So really the only difference is not much. Like this one just has pineapple in it. I can, like, okay, that's crazy because I just dropped it, but anyway. It's like those two are so different. This one, cr the Christmas tree is in the, in the forefront, but pineapple is like swooping its way through. And it's like, hey, like, notice me because I'm pineapple and I'm not supposed to be in a Christmas scent. I like that. Wow, that's really cool. But I'm also partial to pineapple, so. Christmas tree. Bright, fresh balsam fur. Guaranteed to not drop any needles. Huh. It's not very strong. This is also just poured on, like, Halloween. Hmm. It's definitely not super strong. But because it's probably a real Christmas tree. I've never had a real Christmas tree. I mean, I've been over people's houses who have. But yeah, I mean, I will say, like, when you walk into somebody's house who has a real Christmas tree, like, you can smell it, but it's not, like, insanely strong. And then the last bar. Champagne pear. The bubbly with Bartlett. The bubbly with Bartlett. Okay, this, this was, like, all, oh, hold on. The bubbly with Bartlett pears, pear nectars, and green apples. The, the like, spacing was weird. Uh, the bubbly, is that a scent from her? Because if it is, I need it. Oh, this is, like, ginger ale pear. And you know how I like ginger ale over fizzy pop. This is, like, ginger ale pear. Rebecca, this is amazing. I don't want to say save the best for last because there's definitely ones in here I loved. Wow, is that good? Wow, is that good? 
yeah, it's like ginger ale pears. If you like that ginger ale versus fizzy pop because it's not as like limey, definitely check that out. I said this wasn't going to be a long video, and I don't even know how long it was. When I'm editing it, I'll figure it out. Anyway, you guys know how much I love Destination Wax. My nose is like in overload right now, so I am going to type all my pour dates into my Excel spreadsheet. Maybe next year when I do my wax collection video and my, um, you know, like how I store things, maybe I'll talk about the Excel spreadsheet. But anyway, I'm going to go put these there, put them away, and get ready for work. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little notification bell so that way you're alerted every time I upload here. Make it a better world and be kind. Love you. Bye.